fact, you lose this leverage to ignite your DNA. And the ignition of DNA is the storal to the mori. It's the bottom line. It's the happily ever after. So we do this whole song and dance, and we end up with a homework assignment. The homework assignment we do in detail on the weekend is, well, if we, if we supposing we were to take this relatively seriously and say, hmm, I guess without bliss, DNA will never be sustainable. That means immortality depends upon bliss. Simple physics. Therefore, no one could argue bliss is the purpose of having DNA, and therefore bliss is the purpose of having a government. <laughs> Any argument? No? Good. So we've agreed on a political platform, have we? Excellent, excellent. So now we know what to serve at McDonald's, right? So in order to have a government, you have agreement. Agreement is a model for implosion. So in fact, if you knew what people were for, you could make decisions. Four-year-old girl looks up at astrophysicist's PhD father and says, Dad, am I going to become a star? You know what the answer is? Yes. Right? So that's the physics. When you walk into McDonald's and the waitress says, enjoy your hamburger, would you like chemotherapy with that? No, I don't want to. No. No. Uh, when, when, the, when the waitress says, enjoy your hamburger, what she really means is develop that into the charged radiance which will then serve the gene pool. Isn't that what your waitress at McDonald's? <laughs> it's, it's another way of walking home from the cappuccino bar and asking yourself, have I harvested any memory for the galactic core today? <laughs> when you find a way for a wave to become shareable, it becomes immortal. So this is the way it works. Your doctor says, well, you got two weeks to live. Go home and sort your affairs. You walk home, you tip over your filing cabinet, and you begin to urgently look for what might be shareable in there. And every time you find something shareable, what happens? You're driving down the street, minding your own business, and you trip over a shareable thought, like how love affected the life of a little child, or why does phi equal seven-fifth pi over e, right? <laughs> Anything that contains pure principle, and what happens is when you trip over a shareable thought, your hair stands up, right? Has that happened to anyone here? Yes? Yes? That's called a warm fuzzy or an angel hug, right? Well, the physics of that is that you became an attractor for charge, capacitance. You became a, uh, a, a Faraday coil. You became a, a, a Van de Graaff generator. You became an attractor for capacitance. Why? Because you created a shareable thought. Well, your doctor, by telling you you were about to die, created a self-unfulfilling prophecy. Because if now you learn how to only think and feel shareable thoughts, you get so much charge that you tingle so much that you never die. Get it? So death was invented by biology to gently persuade us to stop storing unshareable thoughts and feelings. Yeah? And that introduces nicely the concept of signature sound works, biosonics, and bio waves. And so I want to try to explain a little bit of that from the beginning. So I'm going to use this little uh, animation of harmonic theory which is the understanding of why replace the missing harmonic and then become coherent works in therapy. So we're going to understand harmonics. Now this is, the, we present this in a whole day of musical analysis, but I just want to play a little piece of this. Now note that that was a translation of vorticity where I changed from one frequency to another in a perfect gradual array. Now what I did here is I just took a harmonic analysis over time. The ah here, the ah is this sound. This is ah, e, o, um. And this e here, this is actually the shape of my tongue as I fill the center of the mouth. I'll play it one more time. Ah, e, o, um. Okay? So the e by filling the center of the mouth created a cascade. This is X, 2X, 4X, and 8X harmonic overtones between 0 and 4,000 hertz. I'm displaying the energy density over time in a color, landscape, waterfall, harmonic analysis of the sound aum, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what I want to show you, is that the harmonic choir, by translating the vorticity,
by transitioning vowel sounds properly is doing this. Does this look familiar? That's called a spin path to a zero point, right? So what I do by translating the vorticity over time is I create a harmonic cascade, A harmonically inclusive, E harmonically exclusive. The sound E in every language means separate me. The sound A in every language means connect me. And that's in euphonics from John Michel's analysis of sound having a universal meaning. So when you eat dinner and you liked it, you say, ah. But if you, if you bump into a mouse and you don't like it, you say, ee. Right? <laughs> so that's to create separation. And, 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 and what, what you do is you fill the center of your tongue. The tongue filling the center of the mouth creates this cascade. Well, the nature of this cascade is eventually called bioacoustic habitat theory or signature sound works where you locate the missing harmonic in the voice and then you actually play those harmonics in order to understand. So I'm going to hit play here and what I have here is the harmonic content of Tom's voice. I hit play. Talk again. Talk again. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you know, if we can allow that or you know, help that person to find their own, their own, their own truth. Uh, you know, allow them to have the confront to... Uh, and now if I hit Yelp, we'll have reverse speech. Okay. Okay. So, so, so now we're going to take a harmonic analysis of that. And I'm just going to give you an idea of how you locate a missing harmonic. If I hit Analyze, and then I hit the octave harmonic cascade, and I'll hit uh, the overview. Okay, so this is the harmonic content of Tom's voice over time, and I can see which spectra are present and missing. And so if I do some more detailed analysis here, we eventually pick out which frequencies are present and missing in the voice. And we can actually... Like here's something that's rather high in energy density right here. So if we zoomed in here and we took out the other harmonics. So now we have a frequency at which there's a lot of energy density in this voice. And so now I'm going to check the database for that 559 hertz octave to 24.7 in the database. This is a very evolved literature says flexor digitorum ring finger, stress to the ring finger, C sharp. So it's frequent that you're able to find issues in the body by looking for missing harmonics. Well, where does this take us to? This takes us to the idea of harmonic inclusiveness in general. So signature sound works and bio, this is what we did, just demonstrated here is biowaves.com, Dan Kunkel, software available. It's very elegant and evolved literature. And Dan is writing the next software to link the heart tuner to, to voice spectrum analysis where you can replace the missing harmonic in your heart with your voice and vice versa. You can also design the frequency equalizer for your favorite CD to feed your body the harmonic it needs, etc. So this is the concept of signature sound works bio waves, bioacoustic habitat theory taken to a limit condition. Well, I want to show you one more example of that just briefly. So you can kind of get the idea. This is called heart voice. In terms, the theory of all of this is very simple. The more harmonics that can be in one place at one time, the more awareness is present. So literally, health is predicted by the ability to get many waves in one place. In other words, if you get harmonic inclusiveness or fractality, you become immortal. So replacing the missing harmonics gets you to the point where you can have as many harmonics as possible and thus fractal and therefore sustainable. So the theory is practiced by literally finding the missing harmonic in the heart and comparing it to the voice. I'm just giving you this little example we did in Spain here. We took this analysis of the heart here and we had an emotional index of 0.81 which gave us the musical key signature of the heart here which corresponds in the table to a frequency of 158 hertz. And what we found in the spectrum analysis of this voice, in this case we're using the uh, bio...